All right, all those bullshit videos, they're done. We did them. Now, these are all personal love letters to slabs. We're, we're delivering things to you from Santa Barbara to slabs. We're a company, right? You, you from slabs who are now connected with the handlebar cafe, all right, are expecting a shipment of these breathable masks. That's right, these lovely, adjustable, breathable. They say Big Chief, what's Big Chief? That's the best cannabis, well, we can't. I'm just saying that now, because, come on, guys, they're, they're giving you, they're donating you all these masks. Look, there's even, there's even ones for the pirates out there. Where did I lose it? I know. I want to thank one of the subscribers, we haven't seen you for a while, for sending me these awesome glasses. They're Kurt Cobain replicas. And I'm bringing posters like this to slabs. Uh, there's this one, there's, there's like a Pulp Fiction one. There's a good and bad and the ugly one. I don't know. Maybe there's one that has Tupac and it's saying, still alive or something. You know, there's something. Keep on trucking. I got that stuff if you want it or you can just use it as shade structure. I'm not. I'm bringing that. I'm bringing a bunch of cool books. I heard the library is not there, so I'm just going to give them donate them to the appropriate people so you'd have to come meet me and go oh i'm interested in this one and um that's gonna be my library i'll be like cool i won't even sign it you know i didn't write it, it doesn't make any sense that i would sign it at least i'm getting ahead of myself i'm just telling you they're gonna be much friendlier videos now from now on i'm happy i'm happy that we got this business transaction going handlebar cafe now I'll be sending you this product. We all know it's legal. It's packaged like it's legal. It looks, I mean, I, I'm sure if we took it out, it would look like the product that you asked me to send you. But what if inside of that, there's like an extra present? And that's what I am talking to you seriously now. So I will be sending you these masks and the other things that you asked for. And you're gonna see me do it in front of a post office employee. I know you're saying it's legal, it's legal. Well, one of the packages is the little hidden uh, compartments like in um, Midnight Express, right? You're gonna find one of the books might have uh, something in it. In Midnight Express, uh, the, the lover's trying to get her husband out of jail, right? She's not trying to get the, her lover out of jail. She's trying to get her husband out. It's a long story, dude. He'd been in jail for a long time. She, she moved on, right? But she's she's coming to him, this ex, I suppose. She doesn't tell him, right, what's going on. He's, meanwhile, you know, he's he's untreated. He, he's gone mentally wacky, like me, from his environment. It was, he was never diagnosed with any of these symptoms that this guy, an American, True story, in the 70s, just coming back from Istanbul, had all this stuff strapped to him. This product, really good product. Delicious, oily. Are you understanding what I'm getting at, Slabs? Oily, delicious Afghanistan. You know, you know what I'm talking about. It's a man-made product, oops. We can't have that yet, right? Don't worry, don't worry. It's not, it, it'll come. That, that day will come, but right now, let's not get into the details of that. I'm just saying that that's all secured. 
That's all secured unless that pesky post office dude starts asking about, what do you mean, pink rosé? This isn't wine. Right? And he starts doing some of that with these other canisters that are a little bit volatile. They, I, I'm not coming in like I'm Breaking Bad where I got all this stuff where it should have exploded just when I scratched my head, right? But I managed to get through this whole scene where first I'm, I'm just hitting myself in the car, strapped with all this bombware, right? Then I get searched. Nobody finds this bag of bombware. They don't know what it is. They taste it. It's like this special product in a bag that will just explode when the protagonist throws it at the right time. After a certain amount of people have tasted it, shook it, shoved it in his face. This is Breaking Bad. The protagonist is coming in episode eight to ruin the entire rest of the series. Well, it didn't. I mean, it was awesome. But, right? Didn't... Didn't the value just go down on that one scene? I was spending the whole episode going, but none of this is possible. How are you asking us to suspend our belief to such an extreme? And only at episode seven, it wasn't necessary. We were loving it the way it was. And then they ruined it. And then everything after that, I was just like, he wasn't much of a, a teacher. He didn't know about science, this Heisenberg, you know? that it would have blown up. The writers should have known that, that it would have just blown up from the very first scene with him shaking like that, because that's, it's that volatile, this substance that, bringing me back to slabs. You understand this code? That's gonna be in a different package. This volatile stuff. Now, if the post office man doesn't bother me, because I'm gonna be doing a First Amendment audit, I'm gonna be coming in, I have a Jason, mask, you know, the, or Leatherface. It's Leatherface, and maybe I'll put these glasses, right? So you can see the thing. It's pretty scary. And then I used to do Arabic and French, and and it, it, it doesn't work to the, the right advantage. And then, you know, Furry Potato already did it. We try to do something on YouTube as an auditor, and <coughs> Furry Potato, Furry Potato, Furry Potato goes and does it. But I'm gonna go back to an old thing that I haven't been able to do yet. And it's that one. This has been my goal. And I wanna thank Jane from Slabs because I threw this idea out thinking I can't find anything new. But then when you showed you were doing all of your vlogs from the shitter in Slabs, I said, yes, yes, yes. That's new, that's fresh in so many ways. Do you know what I mean? And I got out of bed, and instead of saying, you know, I'm never gonna do YouTube again, I did that for three weeks. I said, never again. Just cause of trolls, and there, has nothing to do with you, Jane. But I just saw you got your trolls. You serve them up some tea, right? Ah, and you're very, I feel, honest. And I just loved the new mantra that I'm going to say all the time. And that is, I should, be, I should be cuter by now, right? I should be getting more cuter? I don't know. See, only you can do it. I can't even steal your catchphrases. But I thought, I haven't done this. And I don't think there's one auditor who knows how to shut up. And in my particular town, as you've seen, that's where I can only de-escalate things by automatically speaking. That's the only way. And so if I don't speak, yeah, those videos are gonna get really interesting because yeah, people, dude, if I go in with this mask, are you visualizing this people and just go, mm. And I don't move inside this post office. I'm doing a First Amendment audit, but to everyone in Santa Barbara who has never seen anything like this and they don't remember who I was, so they can't even go, oh, he's probably doing a, a scene or he, you know, we knew he was going to go crazy drugs, right? 
Uh, that's another thing for those of you who are trying to help with this mental illnesses. You must understand that if you throw like you do with me and try to figure out what drug I'm on and just be like, stop taking meth, stop taking crack, stop taking cocaine, stop taking heroin, stop doing speedballs, stop, you know, just stop doing cough syrup, stop anything, salts. I, I'm trying to figure out acid. I keep leaving out mushrooms. I have a thing about mushrooms and I don't know. Maybe I need the right person to tell me how to take them. But if I stay like this, I, all the trolls, all the, they're just gonna come and start hitting me and then I'll be able to pull out the mace. And you know that's gonna be a viral video. So, I'm just warning you at slabs that there will be a package. It says Santa Barbara Care Center. It is a place, you can Google it. They're saying, we hope you enjoy the masks. Give them a thumbs up in there. Give them a good review, please. They're really good masks, they're really cool people. And they're donating them to you, so even if you don't think they're cool, just, just put a thumbs up, it's not that hard. But me, the protagonist, right, who is coming to visit you soon, setting up all these business transactions if it goes viral and the package arrives in slabs at the handlebar cafe at the time that is going to be planned when you open the package you have to be very delicate but uh, this is where I need to speak to just the slab city people who know everyone. I'm just going to say cause. This one's going to go to community cause just because I think, I just see him smiling. It seems like he has a perma smile, so I think he's got something going on there. Dude. And he explained to some Canadian who thought they were going to buy up slabs and I was going how much what citizenship is going to happen to the slab slab Banians you got a guy who's got to tell me what you have decided on but right well were you going to be dual nationals with you know you could head off to Canada anytime you like would have been cool I, I, I what was the other thing the real estate like the pricing how much is like on the California real estate market now, COVID times. How much is it, uh, you know? Cause like here in California, you, know, you take like, I, I don't even know how to explain how small it's gonna be. You take a motor home and you put maybe another one next to it. Give yourself six feet. And that whole thing, it's gonna cost you like $300,000. And it'll be on Highway 395, right out in the middle where these trucks come in night and day. It's known the most dangerous highway, right? $300,000 for, what is it? SpongeBob's house. Google that one. That's fun. Hey, people, we could start a commune there. Maybe we should have like Slab's second headquarters. Have a place where you guys... Everyone's moving around, keeping track of everyone else's domains. So anyways, going back to I feel the mayor, right? I, I, were you the one who's saying it would be too much hassle? And that's like, yeah, he knows, he knows. So I'm talking directly to you. If the packages arrive and you're, you, you manage to get these and pass them all out and everyone's happy and, oh, here we go. And we even got the ones for the pirates. It has writing on it and it says BK. What does that sound for? Bodnar, my name is Bodnar, and Crichton, my name is Crichton. So the BK, those are specially for you know who. All right, now, ending with cause for the cause. If these packages, that you know, everything's there, the rose has arrived, the inside extra ingredients are there. All is good in Denmark. All is calm. Let's all go to Finland though. That's that code. But 
Everyone's. That's the WTF experiment. They send people to come. Did you see the sting they did on me? You'll have to look back on a lot of videos on my channel, but I'm parked in the same spot in front of the new Sichuan Garden restaurant where because of a timing problem in another video, I went, they are the enemy and I show the restaurant and all these haters came in and going, you racist bleep, you blah, 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 blah. blah. And I, I was like, I never meant they were the entity, maybe the gangs, but I would mean that on any level. It could be Mexican gangs don't like it. You know, put them, you put them all, Japanese gangs. It's like mafias in my thing. You know, Russian mafia is going to be just as badass as Italian mafia. I hang out with the Syrian mafia over there. They have all the liquor stores in the town of Santa Barbara. So how I've been kicked out of every shell now, right, because of my exploits, now, when any of those employees from those shelves try to go get stuff from the Syrian, yeah, and believe me, they need it all the time. They're on a list. They've been blacklisted. That's the Green Party. Cops aren't going to do anything to protect this idea where, oh, dude, if you don't have our back, corporations, then we're going to go with a different mafia that you don't understand the language. And they cashed my check from Mr. Trump back in the days when my own Chase Bank, that's nationwide, it's a chain, said no. But it's only because of the COVID we're not allowing you because we know you have an account here. We, we know you've been here. But your ID, you know, it, it went out last year, which was a month ago, right? They're not understanding, like, come on, give, give us a month or two to, to do this thing where I got to renew it. And, and they go, ah, well, you know, we used to do that. But now, you know, COVID, for your protection, they're not going to allow me to cash a check because suddenly I might not be who... They, they know me, they've talked to me, but on paper, during the COVID, everything became computerized. So there's no human element. You, you only can go A or B. They must fill in the boxes. If you leave out a box or you, you're not in the A or B section, you're doomed on any platform. And that's what I found. I'm doomed here. I can't like fight for First Amendment or the homeless when during the major moments of COVID, the cops were saying, all right, there's a curfew. Everyone should be gone. But we all stayed out because the cops all just hid or went home to sleep. They were not going to deal with the homeless, with everyone who went back and forth. You couldn't go to a chain to get your beer. <laughs> but the Syrians don't give a shit. Man, they'll, they'll, they'll even work during the Hamdan. So their religion won't, they don't care. So they like me all over town. They know, I just said, oh, that dude, they're like, oh yeah, that dude, he's always an asshole. Well, he's never being let in here anymore. That's what we do with you trolls. When you come out toward us, well, we're just trying to do our everyday routine and you don't speak our language. You think you do though. You don't allow us to try to re-explain what I, it seemed like there was a misunderstanding and you immediately, like you're a gang, have, you call back up and you just insist, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm shitting on you. I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm shitting on you. You can't do that. that. I mean, that's just not nice. But you can do that, right? Everyone's doing that. There is so much shit in the YouTube garden, and it's not from shitter sessions. It's from commenters. And it's so easy now. Now that you've seen what we do to get our videos on when they want to ban it, this YouTube, you just put it in black and white. It's the same with the words. You just, it's going to tag on to abuse, so just write accuse. Suicide, just write kill. 
there, it, 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 it's just a code. So we're going to be able to pass everything. All those stupid of T channels that bleep out important words to be monetized so that they don't get flagged and banned. It's the, the algorithm's gonna turn on them. And they're not gonna know what the fuck happened. They're gonna lose videos. They're gonna have no, there's gonna be people go, wait, I've been on the platform for 20 years and it says nothing. It says I just started yesterday. It's gonna be so much madness for all the people who were doing it the vid IQ way. Everyone who was doing the thumbs up, you must tell them to subscribe, telling you, get this camera, everything that has a link. If Furry Potato said in a video that he uses Sony blah, 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 blah type thing and a 360 like this, if it is more than a certain price, if it is something that a normal person watching a video trying to do like, I might be a First Amendment auditor on YouTube, I feel like starting a channel, if it's not in that platform, it's just gonna knock their stuff off. That's the way the algorithm's gonna work. We're gonna mess it up. And that's gonna be rad because then some honest people will come out, the honest truth will come out. Nobody's gonna make any money, but it's gonna be badass to be hanging out on YouTube. And we can do it. So already right now, people just stick all your stuff in black and white now. Your vlogs and everything, go back. Go back if you can do that. It, you, you just, there's usually a button on, on my phone, it turns everything into black and white. I ha, but I have, right, Martin Scorsese's phone. Got it a while back. You guys want to know, right? Yeah, for slabs, I'm going to explain. So this was back, back at a time where COVID was, we didn't know. We thought it came out of the lax airport, right? Out of LA, some German tourists were taking a one day excursion into Disneyland. All of us who were in the queue, which is a line that we had to do to wait to pick up a passenger at Lax, when they would never find the car. It, it, it's such a messed up system, but let's they would tell you vidIQ, at least a channel that's connected to them, which will be like a Lyft help channel. The Lyft help channel will tell you to buy a second phone to get through this thing. Stuff that's just gonna cost too much money. The algorithm's gonna take that thing down. That tutorial that I've been saying, I don't think these are good tutorials. They're just sending you back to vidIQ. It's all a scheme. It's a pyramid scheme. It's gonna fall, right? Why not be the strong ones? We don't have to go on the top. Let's just be the strong ones. And if someone wants to get on our backs, let's not let them fall. But instead, right, everyone's just going for that pyramid like the complaints I was making in these chains is that the lower chain of command, they're gonna mess up the pyramid because they're, they're doing, uh, they're following the rules without knowing that if they continue to follow the rules, it's gonna crumble. And that the boss man knows. Everyone who's done a, a pyramid scheme, you know it's, it's a Ponzi scheme. It's, it falls at one point, you might be the lucky one. It depends where you are in the food chain. And my new, it was a suggestion, it was an experiment, was what if we do like the, what they discovered with the food pyramid, that we turn it upside down and that's the correct way to do it, that we do that with the YouTube. How to get a channel, how to get all the subscriptions and turn it on its ass. Make it like, no, only the small, subscription channels only the ones who have hardly anything but it's got some substance if it's it's got some substance if it's not mean-spirited if the person is just yelling at themselves and they think that's going to help someone else that's my channel if it's someone else just being totally honest and saying here i am i'm going to the bathroom i'm not feeling good i've been sick for two that's 
they will be pushed by the algorithm suddenly because we tweaked it and all the good stuff's gonna come out. And then, because you and me and every human element started to connect, we actually did go push the up, the thumbs up for the small channel. We did like, we, we both, we all decided we'll do 10 a day. Everyone takes 10 small channels, they find them, they like it, they love them. Tag them, thumbs them up, do the thing, subscribe, share it. Now, if you want this pyramid scheme to work, it's the same as every other pyramid scheme. You would in turn share this 10 times, this link to say, subscribe. But the 10 people aren't gonna be random like in some chain letter where you don't know who the next up there is and you're just, I'll just get out when I get my money. No, you, you know the person, you want them to, to keep going. You want them to succeed. Here it's just you want to get out. You, you want to start on the lowest ring and become the boss and leave. But yeah, that's McDonald's. That's, that's what it's going to be. You move up from this clerk to mm, then you're washing dishes. Then you're up to busboy. Then you are at the counter. Then you are behind the register, right? Everywhere. Trader Joe's. It, pretty soon you have stock in that company. It's a, it's a chain. And, and that's always why I keep repeating it's a chain to be like, even if this is Santa Barbara and we are overriding the constitution, some ways, sometimes in the right way, we're bending the rules. We could only do it here, right? Now, when an outsider like Johnny Five O from LA, where furry potato, they probably met, you know, they probably went to the McDonald's, did a couple, you know, audits, did an interview or two with some YouTubers who are vlogging, right? And, and, and he was driving in with his, his wife, right? His beautiful wife. They're coming in. He's like, hey, I, I heard this town is weird. They were going up to Cambria or something to go see the seals, right? They're, so they're just going up the one, you know, no, that's probably one on one still. I don't know. I don't know how you guys got up there. I don't think you videotaped that. But they, they're just in front of the library now. And they're talking in the car. You can't get more real than this, people. They're, they're not like actors. And he just says to her, I don't know. I got a weird feeling about this. And they're parked across the street from the Santa Barbara Library. It's like one of our landmarks. We can point out beauty, architectural bullshits about it. There's even really cool acoustical things inside about it. Nobody cared, right? So, but he already sensed that just by the people walking down the street, you know what I mean? Didn't need to know. He knew this town, it's in tatters, right? And when he finally goes through this thing where all he was doing was standing in a corner filming for an hour, he was just sitting. He was even sitting, he wasn't standing. I think he was just sitting and he was like, I'm just filming and he's like filming the wall or something. And they have to come in heavy handed and be judgmental, not know what the thing is, but being like, oh, we know what you are. You are, that the cop just was like, oh, we know these first amendment audit things. Everybody on the precinct is going to yell at all your friends who are showing up right now with their cameras. Our precinct is just gonna call them trash. I saw that the whole night. So sorry, you guys. All these auditors came to, you know, film in front of the precinct and stuff, and they're doing the protest, right? And our cops just called them, all of them, trash. So that's the weird, yeah. So I can't do your job here, boys. You see what would happen? I was thinking, I'm gonna go film them. I saw them, I mean, that's how I, and, and meet with them. But once I saw, oh, how it's gonna maybe end, it's like, I don't wanna go to jail, even though I know it's not my fault. It's just, I know how it's gonna end and I don't have that kind of money. But I do have money, free money from this lawyer. He just said, when the time is right, when the person has done the right thing, you know, the right mistake, and you film the right thing, then we're gonna just backtrack and you tell all your stories and I get to go, oh, they're all on YouTube. That's what this was about, people. I've been preparing my lawyers to take down this city 
just some of the citizens and some of the yeah they're citizens too if you work for us right if you're if you're a cop that was i i shouldn't have gone there see i'm going back to these are the things that are going through my head i i just want to leave i just want to get into this car this other car shove all this stuff in it and come visit you guys so that's my plan you're keeping me going i hope you don't all leave before i get there and uh well at least the cool ones if you're not cool you, yeah try not to be there when i get there i know i'm acting pretentious i'm asking for a lot but 30 minutes and 33 seconds exactly into this video that's what i'm saying if you're talking to someone with mental illness this, this is all we need you didn't have to say anything just thanks for hanging and you know waiting it out but i bet there's only one person right now and that's enough you you waited this all the way through you're awesome and you are why we keep getting up in the morning i think i can say that for a lot of people i, I mean if I started picking, go, I mean, we can do a video like that someday where I'll just walk around bothering the homeless and they know me and, I, and, I, and I'm being like, hey, I'm just going to film you for a second. Do what everyone's doing. And didn't want to do it that way. It's, it, it, it seems staged. It seems, it needs to happen naturally. But I get the concept. I get the concept of that thing. I'm just saying we... We need friends who just let us be weird and, you know, try to fix us or help us, really, in any way. Unless you see me there trying to clean up my house and I'm stumbling and you're right there watching and you just suddenly grab something or you start washing a dish or you put on some music and go, all right, we're going we're gonna to get out of this funk. That kind of stuff, yeah. And that's what I thought was gonna happen doing these videos for two years. I thought that the Commodores, Commodor, the Commodores, the, you know, I thought I would meet up these, this weird YouTube universe from all over the world, and it would be so small and so uh, niche you know, just a subgroup of a subgroup of a subgroup. I thought, that's, that's the thing. That's what we all are. We're, we can't be labeled. Our, the labels, none of them worked. That's why my doctor, he finally, you know, with me, you know, I've got bipolar, what was it? ANSD, ADD, ADHD, then uh, dyslexia, then, you know, I don't want to talk about schizophrenia or quadrophenia. I'm not going to do those anymore. But ANSD was perfect because it's auditorial is the first, I, I said, okay, I can say that. I don't want to say Asperger's, so I'll, yeah, what's next? And then he goes, neurological, gets all clinical, I don't, and he's like, but you don't have to say it. You don't have to say the neurological part. It's auditorial spectrum disorder. Well, spectrum, spectral. Yeah, it turns out that it's spectral. But he says, you can call it spectrum if you want to, because it still has to do with something auditorial. But there's a whole specter, a spectrum of possibilities there, right? To be labeled, maybe later. It's creativity. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So auditorial, it's just, I hear things and then my brain processes it wrong. So it's very important for the person to word their comment, if it's four words, really think back. It's not, fuck you, for someone. I don't hear it like that. I hear it like, whoa, are you my stepfather coming back? Is this PTSD? Are you coming to accuse me once again from the dead troll? Yeah, I, I, I know for sure now, after this experiment, that trolls have a big part of it. It's not the porn bots that also YouTube, 
Why you, why you let the porn bots get onto my site if your garden is, and community is so, so pure? No. Right now, you need to do an algorithm that's just going to knock down anything that had bad punctuation that was misspelled. They're already gone. Take down their actual channels. Do you see how people talk differently? If they knew that if you mispunctuate your comment, if you pick the wrong emoji to suggest, or if you forget LOL and you put UMU, which is actually means fuzzy feeling, but the person doesn't understand that language. Like my daughter, if I send her an emoji, she just goes, I don't understand, Dad. What does that mean? I don't. My generation, we don't deal with emojis. And I go, it said, do you want, and I put a spaghetti. It, it's a, it showed a pig, it was an emoji of a fork in the spaghetti on a plate. And I thought, wow, that's one of the few emojis that I could recognize, that that's what it is. I collect just certain emojis. I don't use any of the, I, I use one of the smiley faces. I go, the one that's like, huh? That one's good. You can always put it like, I'm just questioning. Don't think that I'm accusing you of something. Ah, I went way past the time. Are we doing an hour special? Are you okay, Slabs, that I'm doing an hour HBO Cinemax? We're doing all of the networks. We're a pirated mobile lab. What kind of lab? Kind of, we do everything. But we're mostly um, educators without borders. That's what we are. Trolls, educators without borders. Yeah, your lawyer, yeah. Your lawyer's gonna be checking into the border. Yeah, you thought you could get away, troll. But even, we got no borders anymore. We got no boundaries anymore. And so only the people who are gonna give up, you gotta just give it up and say, okay, I have nothing to fear. If I had something to fear, then I am being a hypocrite to myself. And I realized I was running from all this stuff. I'm like, why am I always wearing a mask even when I'm like just doing a video? Because someone out there is making me feel like, whoa, if I just put my, my mask down like that, they get all freaked. Like, whoa, COVID. Like everyone's a doctor, like they all are scientists, like they know something, like you could really help that person that you said the wrong thing, commenter. And it was mispunctuated. So you, YouTube, you could have just knocked that troll right out of there and the person would have still been alive. Your, one of your creators, one of the ones who were paying you $9.99 each month to be on your special YouTube care, right? For the creators now, there's no phone number. We cannot talk to you. Everything you send us are, is bots. It's not doing what you tell the public it's doing. Like, like, the, like the people not wanting to let us wash our hands, saying that, you know, the bathroom's either not working or they just explain, you know, in COVID times, they don't have time to clean it each time after each person goes in and out. They, it's never going to work. But if the country insists that it's very important that we keep these masks, these distances, and that we keep washing our hands from the very beginning of the experiment, F you, wash your hands in hot water. Wash your thoughts. If you don't want us to be sick, wash your thoughts. Don't teach us like we're children. Commenters, wash your hands. Whatever you do, be sure to wash your hands. That will keep you sane. That will keep you healthy. 
If you are sick in any way, mental, physical, you got the flu, COVID is going to come in easy. But for these two years, the only way, and I traveled all over, and I was in like, like this with people, without the masks, and it's all on there documenting it. Nobody got sick. Nobody got sick in any of the ways. So it's true, the restaurateurs know it. Shell knows it. We don't need to wash up. So take either your thing down. I don't want to see another commercial song telling me anything if you're not doing anything about it. And it's impossible. Scientists are going to tell you. There's nothing you can do. But I take it personally that you inject me with it and tell me it's okay. Because that is also documented. Three days, I got to go through that. Someone with my kind of depression does not need your shit added onto it. And people go, well, it's not that bad. You'll either feel, this was the choices they gave Ah, you'll either feel, you'll feel a little sore, muscles, muscle pains, it'll be, you got the choices. The low end, it's just like you did a light workout and it's the next day and you're sore. No, dude, if you're just doing light workouts and the next day you're sore, you've done something wrong. Someone should teach you to stretch or a light workout is to be like so that you don't get all sore the next day. So already it's an adjective or whatever they're trying to say, that would be the least of your problems. But if it was really bad, it's as though you got beat up. That is the phrasing. As though you got beat up. Once again, it's subjective. Who beat me up? For what reason did they pound me like that time in New York when I got mugged? Or was it just this, you know, when my dad just uphanded me one time and I fly? How can you tell me what the pain is? And that's what your lawyer is going to say, troll. I'm just telling you ahead of time. My lawyer said I should do this to really scare you. Yeah, you guys are going to, that's your only choice. You know, you're going to try to push it this way and... But I'm the actual article. You're, you're kind of a fraud. Uh, I mean, you can't explain all the fraudness part. Yeah. So, yeah, you're going to try to fight me on, on that. And you're going to try to fight me on these little things like, oh, you... He didn't tell him that he was recording the phone conversation and yeah, all that. I did tell you. That's the thing. You weren't listening. You were so like, you shouldn't. You were telling me because you were so surprised that I was talking. But I was, dude, you made my day. You recognize my voice. You didn't, I didn't. I didn't say anything. I didn't call you from a number that had my, any of my names tagged to it. I just said, hey, it's me. And you right away started screaming all this stuff that I, you can't do, you were like, you were scared shitless. Hear that? They're coming for you. They're coming for you, troll. I guess you must have just had your IP address or something. Do you hear it? Yeah. Yeah. It's not going to be much fun for you. It's going to be fun for us. And we will be celebrating. I'm going to die happy with um, hypertension out. Someone's going to dread my hair. I'm going to ask for a tattoo. It, once again, it has to be someone who I know loves me enough, or at least is on acid, to, or an ecstasy, to, you know, take my virgin skin, right? But, troll, for you, you know, like this, I do want the person who loves me to tell me, this professional, where 
will it hurt me the most? I've never done these things. I, I'm, I'm interested. Like I'm learning about dab, I am going to learn about this art form. And it's gonna be your lawyer's name, troll. Yeah, I'm gonna do in publicity. Yeah, you, the, nobody is gonna wanna deal with you anymore after seeing that. So you, once again, I think I've mentioned this Breaking Bad several times, just tread lightly, right? Weisenberg, Heisenberg. Jesse!